I am so excited to be going to Joanne Fabrics and picking out some fabrics for a dress that I want to make. Today I hope to find a really cool dress pattern and some really cool fabric to make it in with some embellishments and walk you through the process of making a dress from a pattern. Let's see how it goes. Okay, first things first, I need to find a pattern because the pattern will tell me everything else I need. It'll tell me how many yards of fabric, it'll tell me um, what size buttons, what embellishments, how long the zipper should be, all of that. So let's try to find out where they keep the patterns in here. So I like Berta patterns. Um, these books have it shows you all the styles and then it shows you the pattern number at the top and then you can search the files for the pattern number or you can just look on the wall you can look on the wall and see what they have in stock here's some kids patterns this says easy on the top that means it doesn't have a ton of seams it doesn't have anything super complicated that a beginner sewer wouldn't be able to um, handle so I'm gonna find a dress that's easy. If I wanted to find something easy, I would probably stay away from knits, uh, jersey specifically, anything that's really stretchy, because when you're first starting out, when you're sewing things together, it's just um, the added stretch just makes things a little bit more difficult. It makes it hard to get the seams straight, things stretch out of proportion by accident. Okay, so I have found one that I like. Look at this baby. And it says it's very easy. Um, so the way I'm gonna find it is right now I'm looking in the book and I'm gonna find it by this number up here. So I'm gonna go in the drawers and find V9182. This is Butterick. This is McCall's, McCall's. Where are the bow Okay, there's no, um, they're in here. There's no, there's no sign for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I saw this tag sticking out. 81, 82. Where is that? Oh, is that it? Ha. Okay, so the next thing is to make sure that it's my okay. size. So to see what size you are, this one has the measurements on the flap here. So um, it considers like I'm I'm here. I'm a 30. My bust is 34, and my waist is uh, bigger than that. But this is pretty much going to be my size. I'm in between a 12 and a 14 here when it comes to sizing. So I'll have to make sure that I I probably alter the pattern to fit my waist. Um, but I'm going to be a size 12. Normally I am a size 6 or a size 4 if I buy clothes in the store. So you have to be careful to make sure that when you're making the pattern, you're making the size that fits your body, not necessarily the size in the store. I think you get that. Now I have to see what kinds of materials I need. This is the same dress. Okay, so this is the front. You can see there's the buttons that go down the front and this is the back of the dress. The only difference on this pattern is the length. So it's length A or it's length B, all right? There's only, there's one dress and it's either short or it's long. So I'm if I do the long one, if I get, if I find 45 inch fabric, that's the width of the fabric, then I'm gonna get four and a half yards. If I find 60 inch fabric, then I'm gonna get um, four and a quarter yards. And for interfacing, I'm gonna get one and one eighth yards. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I'm getting B. Let me see what fabric I can find and which widths, and then I'll decide uh, how much. But interfacing, I'm definitely get one and one eighth large, uh, yards. And lining usually comes in 45 inch lining, especially in Joanne fabric. And so I'm gonna need one yard of lining. I'm gonna need 10. Uh, seven eight inch buttons and these are just the finished garment measurements when the dress is finished it tells you how long it's going to be 
Okay, well, let's shop for all the material. Fabrics. They suggest gingham, sateen, poplin, uh, or broadcloth. These are all these are all like non-stretch fabrics. Um, so I'm gonna find the fabric first, and then I am going to uh, find the lining and the interfacing after, because I kind of want to match everything to the original fabric. If you're not sure what type of material it is because you're just not familiar, you can always look on the side of the bolt of fabric and it will, um, it'll tell you. So for example, this one is um, polyester and rayon, okay? And it, it just tells you what it's usually used for. This one is um, polyester and spandex. So you know it's got a lot of stretch to it. Look at that stretch, okay? 10% spandex, that's a lot of spandex. Usually jeans are like three to 5% if they're nice jeans. This has got 10%. I'm going with a pink, Satin, uh, satin type fabric and a pink lining and then I got um, some fleece to make a, a pillow with my daughter so okay so now I'm looking for seven eighths inch buttons something to go with my pink fabric the button sizes are on the back so you have to look in the back to make sure they're the right size because when you sew, it'll sew the buttonhole a certain size. And if you're sewing 7 8 inch size buttons and then you get a smaller button, they're not gonna fit and it's gonna be a big problem. Okay, let me find some nice ones. Oh, those are cute. Are they too fancy? Oh my God, I was in Joann's for like an hour and a half. Don't wear heels when you go into Joann's because I thought I was gonna be in and out and I was not. And I was walking around in heels for oh, an hour and a half. So um, everything that I bought today cost me $128, y'all. I don't know how they make dresses for $30. I mean, I know how they make it overseas and stuff like that, but the the fabric, the time it takes to make a piece of clothing, it is insane. Like the prices we pay for clothing is just so inexpensive compared to the work that goes into it. This is labor of love for the love of fashion. So, but I'm just telling you, like if you think it's cheaper to make your own clothes, it's not. Okay.